This is a video response to Muzzle Mike. I think it's like a show me your tarpaulin tag. So here is my tarp, which like his, it's a poly tarp. It's not a true tarpaulin. I'll give you a little bit of history as I show you my tarp here. It's a cheapie, not an expensive one at all. The eyelets or grommets are about three foot apart. You can actually see the weaving in it because it's so loose. It's eight threads per inch, which is barely usable as a tarp. You really want a tarp with about 12 or 16 threads per inch, but for a, a throwaway tarp, which is what I was looking at. I've used this actually three times, and I only intended to have it be a one-use tarp. And as you can see, it's already got holes where you can go, you can see right through the weave. Right there, I can stick my whole finger through. But for single use, it was plenty good enough, and it was about $3. I'll show you the brand of it right here. I believe I picked this up at Menards or Home Depot, I forget which, Weather Guard by Tricam. And it doesn't say heavy duty or anything like that. When it says heavy duty, that usually means it's at least 10 mils thick. This is, I doubt it's more than 5 or 6 mils thick. Uh, although sometimes you can find tarps that are like 10, 12 mils thick that are really super heavy duty. So don't necessarily go by just the thickness or just the thread count. You have to actually examine the tarp for yourself. And some of the other features of the heavy duty tarps is they'll have a, a heavy duty rope sewn in here at the seam. I think I have some kind of a cord here at the seam, but it's really not much of anything. These are cheap aluminum grommets here, every three foot apart. You want brass grommets about every 18 inches apart to have a heavy duty tarpaulin. But the origin of the name was there was a, a word used during the Civil War, it was called a Pullen or a pollen, depending on how you pronounce it. So it could be P U L L I N or P A U L I N, or I think it was L A N. And what it was was it was a canvas type of cloth that you used for packing goods aboard a ship, packing or covering goods aboard a ship or aboard a wagon. And what they would typically do in a wagon is they would lay the pollen, the, the canvas cloth, down on the um, on the wagon itself and then when they would load the goods on and they would use the eyelets, the grommets to run a rope through and then tie it up in a big bundle and it would actually be water resistant. A canvas pollen was actually water resistant but not totally waterproof. So what they would do to waterproof them is they would add tar. So you would have a tarred pollen or a tarred pollen depending on which word you use. So it just changed the word tar covered pollen or tar tarred pollen to tarpaulin or depending on how you pronounce it too. Some people, I believe in the south, they call it a tarpaulin, and up north they call it a tarpaulin, and most people just call it a, a tarp or a poly tarp. But yeah, this is the poly tarp. If you want the really good quality, you don't go with a polyethylene tarp, you go with a vinyl coated tarp. Those are quite costly, like this one's a $3 tarp. If you would get this in a vinyl coated, you would probably get a bigger size, and you would pay somewhere in the neighborhood of about 60 bucks for it, and it would be chemical resistant. It would probably also be somewhat fire retardant, although you never want to get a plastic tarp if you're really uh, wanting a, a tarp that's more fire resistant. You get something like a canvas tarp. But the other thing too is you don't always want to go with the very best quality of tarp because the thickness of the tarp can be just like the old canvas tarps and you take them outside and it's cold weather and they're hard to maneuver around and heavy anyway. Well then it's hard to even get them to bend or fold and that can be the same thing too when you're dealing with a real thick heavy duty polyethylene tarp or a thick heavy duty vinyl tarp same as the canvas tarp really really hard to work with in the cold they're just not really that flexible so maybe you might want to go with a medium duty or a heavy duty instead of a super heavy duty but yeah you can uh, get these all the way up to uh, well over a hundred dollars or as cheap as three dollars for the throwaway ones so this is my tarp oh and we've got to do we have got to do the tarp pledge the tarpaulin pledge at the end so you guys need to uh, pause pause respectfully as we do the tarpaulin pledge this is my tarpaulin there are many like it but this one is mine my tarpaulin is my best friend it is my life I must master it as I must master my life my, my tarpaulin without me is useless without my tarpaulin I am useless my tarpaulin is human even as I am human, because it is my life. Thus, I will learn it as a brother. I will learn its weaknesses, I will learn its strength, its parts, its accessories, its seams, and its grommets. I will keep my tarpaulin clean and ready, even as I am clean and ready. We will become part of each other. 
I am one with the tarpaulin.